everyone, we're going to use the principle of mathematical induction to prove that 2 plus 7 plus 12 plus dot 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 plus 5n minus 3 equals n times 5n minus 1 divided by 2. And this is for all positive integers. So for all n, that's uh, part of the positive integers. Um, I want to, uh, before we get started, let's just notice what this is. This is your sum of numbers. It's arithmetic, means it has its linear in form. It means the common difference is 5. That's where this 5 is coming from here. And if I start adding a new term, the term after this one would be 5n plus 2 because you keep adding 5. So if I add 5 to the 3, negative 3, I get 2. The next term would be 5n plus 7 because I'm adding 5 to each of these. Uh, 5n plus 12 would be the next term. And so that's just that note to uh, notice for that. So let's get started. And what we're going to do first is do step one. And that is to show that n equals 1 is true, is true. All right, so basically we're just going to plug in 1 in uh, both of those, and you should get the first term, which is 2. So we have 5 times 1 minus 3 should equal 1 times 5 times 1 minus 1 divided by 2. So this is 2 equals 4 divided by 2, which equals 2. So that works. Now, if I did, uh, you don't have to, but if you did n equals 2, what you would do is you'd plug 2 in here, and that should equal the sum of 2 plus 7, which equals 9, because you're doing uh, the sum of the first two terms. So if I plug in 2, you get 2 times 5 times 2, minus 1 divided by 2. So that's going to give you the 2's cancel. So uh, 10 minus 1 is 9. So what we're trying to prove is that it works for each next term. So we don't want to sit here and keep writing n equals 3, n equals 4. So what we're trying to prove is that it works for all numbers. So what we're going to do first is assume that it's true for n equals k. So we're going to take our, our formula here and change all the n's to k's. So you're going to write 2 plus 7 plus 12 plus dot 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 center dots plus uh, 5k minus 3 equals k times 5k minus 1 divided by 2. All right. Now, the last step is to prove it. So we have to prove that it works for all next terms. So for n equals k plus 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this part down. 2 plus 7 plus 12, plus dot, 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 plus 5k, minus 3, and the next term would be 5k plus 2. Because remember, you're just adding the 5s. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, what I did earlier, what you can do is you can take this previous term, and everywhere there's a k, input k plus 1. That's going to give you 5k plus 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. And like I said before, if you wanted to get even the next term, you just keep adding 5 to this number. So let's do, let's try it on this side. This side, the next term is just going to be k plus 1. Now for this one, Let's just add 5 to the negative 1 because that's your, your slope, your common difference. So that's going to be 5k 
plus 4. I'll divide it by 2. Or you can do what we did before and get that. So what we want is to prove that the left-hand side matches the right-hand side. Now we already know what this part equals. This part equals this. So this is k times 5k minus 1 Divide it by 2. Now add our new term, 5k plus 2 uh, equals k plus 1 times 5k plus 4. Divide it by 2. Now before we continue on with this, um, we want a common denominator, so I'm going to put a 2 here. So I'm also going to put a 2 here. And then on the next slide, I'm going to rewrite this with the common denominator of 2. Okay, I pause a little bit so I can make sure I write it down correctly when we go to the next slide. All right, so here we go. I'm going to rewrite this down. So we have k times 5k minus 1 divided by 2 plus, this should all be over 2, so let me just... Do that 2 plus 2 times 5k plus 2. And this should all equal k plus 1 times 5k plus 4. Ah, let me write it over a little bit. Uh, k plus 1 times 5k plus 4 divided by 2. So all I have to do, let's simplify the numerator, and we're going to get uh, 5k squared minus k plus 10k plus 4, divided by 2. So this is going to give us 5k squared plus 9k plus 4, divide it by 2. Now factoring this, I'm going to write 5k, k, and I have a 4, and I'm going to kind of cheat and look at what my answer is supposed to look like, make sure I did it right. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 1 here, and the 4 here, and double check that I did it right. So we should get a 9. So we get 5, plus 4 is 9. Everything else works out. So now that I factor that, it works out, and we uh, proved that the right-hand side looks like uh, matches up to the left-hand side. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.